This weekend we're looking at Luke chapter 6 from verse uh, 20 onwards, the equivalent in Luke to what we know in Matthew as the Sermon on the Mount. But just before that, there's a few verses that I just want to reflect on briefly. It's from verse um, 12. And it says this, One of those days, Jesus went, on a, on, went out to a mountainside to pray and spent the night praying to God. When morning came, he called his disciples to him and chose 12 of them, whom he also designated apostles. And then there's a list of those 12 people. And it goes on. He went down with them and stood on a level place. A large crowd of his disciples was there and a great number of people from all over Judea, from Jerusalem and from the coastal region around Tyre and Sidon, who come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. Those troubled by impure spirits were cured and the people all tried to touch him. His power was coming from him and healing them all. And then he goes on to teach. And we'll be looking at that teaching um, this weekend. But what we see here, and we see this in many different places in the, in the uh, Gospels, is something of the rhythm of the life of Jesus. That he spends time alone in relationship with his Father. That he spends time with those that he is he is part of those is called to be to be with him, where he's seeking to draw them into a deeper relationship with God, where he's helping them to, to grow, to become the people that he needs them to be for the mission that he has for them. And then he with them goes out to bless people, to to bring physical, spiritual blessing, to bring teaching, to bring good news, to change lives. We see something of the rhythm of Jesus, that relationship with God, the relationship with the people that he's part of, his desire to reach out to those who don't yet know him, to those who need to be blessed. And I've been challenged recently to think about how my rhythm of life compares with that of Jesus. And as I was thinking about that and praying about that, reflecting on it, I realised there are some areas where I'm sort of maybe doing okay. Somewhere it needs some work and somewhere it really needs to grow. And my challenge for all of us is to reflect on that, to think about it for ourselves. How does the rhythm of our lives compare to that of Jesus? Why not take time with God this week to reflect on that and to hear what God might be saying to you. A change that he wants to birth in you. A change that through his spirit he wants to enable in you in one of those dimensions so that we can become more like Jesus. Let's not beat ourselves up about things that we're not getting right. But let's take an opportunity to spend time with God and to to hear from him as a loving father to his child, saying, this is what I want to do in you. This is what I want you to become. This is what, through my spirit, I can make possible. As we do that, let's draw closer to Jesus. Let me just pray. Father, I just pray that you would speak to each one of us. You would pour your spirit into our lives. You would bless us. You would encourage us. You would show us those areas that you want to, to grow and develop in us. And we would be open to that. And we would be excited about becoming more like Jesus in all those ways in which he demonstrated that so powerfully. Lord, I pray your rich blessing. I pray the outpouring of your spirit. In the name of Jesus. Amen.